Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. Friends, for the past five years, we are providing the solutions for various NPTEL courses, including this introduction to IoT course. So we have provided the solutions in the past with high accuracy guys and many students got benefited through our channel. So for this session, for this semester also, we are going to provide you solutions for the IoT course along with other courses also you can check our channel so this is week one assignment of the course guys so please watch the video till the end and definitely like the video guys so that we can get more encouragement to do the further videos so before getting into this i want to make a small announcement that for the past two years we have been providing exam preparation mcqs for iot course guys and also few other courses so with nearly five years of nptl experience we are doing this guys so we are providing 300 huge number of mcqs in the pdf format google drive link so for one person it will be 300 rupees guys so for the past two years it has been uh, 500 rupees but for this season we have reduced it for one person 300 only you will getting 300 mcqs for just 300 rupees itself for two to five persons it will be 500 rupees guys so there is no change in this price but for single person price we have reduced it by 200 rupees so for the past two years it is 500 rupees but for now for only one person 300 rupees only guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so to purchase this super savings pack you can mail me to this email id guys so let's get into the solutions so first question what is the full form of iot what is the full form of iot the answer is option b internet of things right so mark option b as correct answer for first question now let's move on to the second question guys if you feel there should be any changes to be made then please give your opinion in the comment section but i think almost all the solutions are 100 percent correct now moving on to the second question which of the following technologies have unified and has resulted in the evolution of iot so for second question the correct answer is option d all of these so mark option d option d now let's move on to the third question third one which of the following are the enablers for iot so for third question the correct answer is option d once again that is all of this so mark option d now let's move on to the fourth question fourth one <clears throat> the fourth question which of the following is or or a function of an iot gateway so for fourth question the correct answer is option d all of this so mark option d as correct answer for fourth question answer is option d once again now let's move on to the fifth question fifth one
state whether the following statement is true or false. So what is the statement? Let me read it. The same address of an IoT device may be repeated in the domain of another gateway. So the gateway has a unique network prefix which can be used to identify them globally. So is this statement true or false? It is true. So mark option A. It is option A. True. Now let's move on to the sixth question. Sixth one. In Dash, a node or network is connected to multiple networks for improved reliability. So for sixth question, the correct answer is option B, multi-homing. Option B, multi-homing. So mark option B. Now let's move on to the seventh question. The IPv4 notation uses dash number of bits to represent an address. So for seventh question, the answer is option B, 32. So mark option B. Now let's move on to the eighth question. So before moving into this solution, I want to once again uh, make you remember guys. So we are providing the exam preparation MCQs for the past two years. So for this season also we are going to provide you. So this is the email ID. You have to message me for to get these MCQs. So I will give my email ID in the description box also along with the comment section. So you here you will get a huge number of 300 MCQs guys. So if you are only one person, then it is just 300 rupees only guys. Last time it is 500 rupees, but we have reduced it to 300 for each, uh, for each person. If you buy in two to five members as a group, then you'll get for 500 rupees only guys. So a Google Drive PDF link will be given to you. So it's a restricted link, so you can access that. And there is also one more thing. It is YouTube membership. So if you take this YouTube membership with 119 rupees, you'll get 100 plus MCQs. But in the video format, guys, it is only valid for one month. If you want to access this YouTube membership, just go to our channel page. So this is our channel page, S Kumar Edu. So if you scroll down, so there are members only videos, right? So here you can see IoT course is there. Part one and part two is made. So if you want to join our channel, just go to our channel page. There is join button beside this subscribe button, right? So click on that. Hello guys. So then a page will appear like this. So you have to select here the last one, 119 per month pack. Click on join and make payment. That's it. You will become member of our channel and you can get access to not only that one video guys, you can get all course videos. So here you can see IOT part one is made. Part 2 also made and different courses are also made. So you can uh, access all these courses. So choose between whether you want 300 MCQs as a PDF format or 100 plus MCQs in video format guys. My suggestion is it's better to take 300 MCQs PDF pack. So last time according to the our subscribers 80% 80% of the questions came from our PDF guys. So we cannot say that this time also it will be like that. But our accuracy is very much high such that almost all the students who taken our packs are satisfied with our pack. And they said that 80% of our questions are given in the exam. So decide yourself guys. Already many students have taken our packs. So be one of them and get good marks in the final exam. So now let's get back to the solutions. So eighth question. The source address field in the IPv6 header is of dash bits in length. 
so for eighth question the correct answer is option c 128 128 so mark option c now let's move on to the ninth question ninth one a device which detects or measures a physical property and records indicates or otherwise responds to it is called as what so for ninth question the answer is option a sensor so mark option a now let's move on to the tenth question Tenth one, a microphone is an example of an dash. So the answer is option D, input device and transducer. So mark option D. Now let's move on to the eleventh question. 11th one state whether the following statement is true or false statement a sensor is only sensitive to the measured property for which it has been made example a temperature sensor senses the ambient temperature of a room so is this true or false so for 11th question the correct answer is option a true itself So mark option A true. Now let's move on to the twelfth one. The twelfth question. Based on the data type, sensors are classified as what? So for twelfth question, the correct answer is option C. Scalar and vector or multimedia. So mark option C. Moving on to the 13th question, 13th one, state whether the following statement is true or false. So what is the statement? The more is the resolution of the sensor, the less accurate is its precision. So is this correct? No, it is false because the more is the resolution of the sensor, the more accurate its precision. So it is false statement. They have given a false statement. Next, moving on to the 14th question. 14th one. The sensitivity of a sensor under real conditions may differ from the value specified. So this is called what? So this is called sensitivity error. It is sensitivity error. So mark option B and moving on to the final question of this assessment that is 15th one. The last one guys, a sensor node is made up of which of the following? So for the 15th and final question, the correct answer is option D, all of these. The answer is all of these. So mark option D. So friends, these are the solutions for week one assignment of IoT course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, definitely subscribe our channel and like the video. And please share that within your WhatsApp student groups, guys, so that everyone will be able to watch this. So we are providing these for free of cost in the YouTube itself. So if you want to prepare sincerely for your exam and grasp more as more concept as possible, so then you can take our exam preparation MCQs guys. So last time 80% of the questions came from our MCQs itself. So this is the email address guys. I will provide this in the description box as well as in the comment section. You will get a huge number of 300 MCQs guys. So for one person it will be 300 rupees and for two to five persons it will be 500 rupees guys. So hope you got 
or point so if you want this mcqs you can message me to this email id guys so that's it guys for this video so please share that video with your friends and classmates guys and make everyone aware of our channel so please subscribe our channel like this video and share this with your friends guys so that's it for this video so for more videos stay tuned to our channel guys so that's it for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you